Hey peeps, we are back. We're talking to Real Housewives of Dubai, season one, episode one. Hey, before we get into the video, please do me the honors of subscribing to my channel, hitting the notification bell so you can always be notified when I post new content, hitting the thumbs up because that does wonders for my channel, and share. Thanks. Before we get into the show, I did see online that Ramona Singer dropped Teresa's invite to her wedding on her Instagram to everyone. Quickly later, she deleted it, but not before people screen grabbed. She posted a picture of the invitation, giving out the details of the wedding, the, the date of the wedding, which is August the 6th, I believe, the location of the wedding, and the password to log into her RSVP, which shows all the people that are invited to this wedding. Ramona is always the one who is doing too much. It turns out that she did invite all the girls in the cast, including Marge, to the wedding. So everyone has been invited. Ramona, she might be disinvited. She came back later on Instagram and said that she was really sorry. She just got really excited and thought the invitation was beautiful, so she posted it. The invitation was beautiful, but anytime you're going to a wedding of a public figure slash reality star, who has a special invite list and a password, you should know better than that, Ramona. Okay, so before we get into the Housewives of Dubai, let me just tell you, I was excited. I was absolutely excited. I think that this is the most diverse cast that we have ever seen across the Housewives franchise. I'm not sure, but I believe that Sarah is the first Muslim housewife and she is absolutely adorable. Also, did anybody else enjoy that Sarah and Nina spoke English and Arabic on the show? I thought that was really cool. And, you know, they mentioned in all their press releases that they were rich, but they are really making the rest of the housewives look not rich. I'm just saying. That really helps because I feel like their lifestyle is very similar to ours. And I mean, ours is a little bit more extravagant, but Beverly Hills is cute. Now that was too much, wasn't it? She said they were cute. Okay, not the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills are cute. That was funny. Also, did you guys notice that they have full body confessionals? That is a really nice touch. And I don't care what anybody says, Dubai is like an official housewife. Did you see how beautiful that place is? That, you know what? Dubai is a housewife. I'm just saying. Listen, back to these full body confessionals. I am here for it. I love the editing. The fact that these girls are real life friends. And we have been saying that for years. Most of these women on the housewives are not authentic because they don't really know each other. There's no chemistry. These girls have history and chemistry. So this is really good. I do think that Bravo is shady for putting the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and the Real Housewives of Dubai back to back. I don't know if they try to let us know that we're poor. I don't know. You know, even though I believe that the Real Housewives of Dubai make the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills look upper middle class. I'm just saying. Erica is somewhere sick. You know what, when we first started watching The Real Housewives, I personally started watching The Real Housewives because I wanted to see the luxury. I wanted to see the wealth. I wanted to see the homes, the cars, the jewels, all of it. You know, all that stuff that I don't have because I'm just, you know, middle class. Anyway, Dubai is giving us all of that. I am here for The Real Housewives of Dubai. Okay, so this review is gonna be a little different because it's the first, it's the first. And so I don't really know these ladies yet, but let's introduce the ladies. So we have Carolyn S, who is a married mom of three. She's an entrepreneur. Um, we see in her opening scenes that she's married to a younger man. Her new husband is 27 and she's got the cutest little dog who peed in her bed. And, and the problem that I have with Carolyn is, 
ma'am, you mentioned about seven times to the dog, to your husband, to the housekeeper that this dog has peed the bed, but you are still laid up in this bed. I don't understand it. Why are you and the dog and the husband out of the bed, changing the sheets, scrubbing the mattress? You know, what is going on? I thought that was a little nasty and tacky. It's too much. It's too much. Then we have another Carolyn, Carolyn B. Carolyn B. is from America. She's a divorced mom of one, and she's also an entrepreneur. Now listen, Carolyn B. brings the shade. This woman is a bit too much. However, I appreciate her. We find out that in her divorce, she left everything on the table. She only wanted her child. So she got her son, and she rebuilt. And honey, did she rebuild. The woman is rich, and I appreciate that. That says a lot about her strength, her character. She was willing to just grab her son and start over from the bottom. I like that about Carolyn. Then we have Nina. Nina is married mom of three. She is an influencer and a CEO, and she is doing big things. I like Nina. Not only that, I think she is extremely beautiful. Then we have Lisa. Lisa is a married mom of three and she has her own maternity fashion line. And one thing that I loved about her was we find out that she's got a really cute husband. She's got these three boys and I appreciate that her husband was pumping her up with the boys. He said, mommy is more than just a mommy. She's also a businesswoman and her kids are adorable and they all have different accents. It was really cute. One has an American accent, one has a Jamaican accent, and one has a British accent. The kids are adorable and so is her and her husband. Then we have Sarah. Sarah has been divorced twice and she has one child and she is a tech entrepreneur. And you know what? I think that Sarah is a bad ass. Coming from there, being a Muslim, divorced twice, and being a single mom, and she is still out here doing her thing, I like Sarah. And depending on what pictures they show of Sarah, does anybody else get a little Kim Kardashian feel from Sarah? I'm just saying. Then we have, oh my God, what housewife dreams are made of, Chanel. Okay, Chanel is married. She is a mom of one and she is a supermodel and she doesn't mince words at all. She is the most fabulous woman there is. And not only that, she is the baddest bitch that you ever want to meet. Okay. Wewe ni ajab sana na wewe ni mrembo sana. Swahili. Pankuche ela ayan. Somalian. Oriatia ogambachi mrembo. Ugandan. I'm a badass bitch. English. I'm telling you in four different languages how fabulous and badass bitch I am. Not bragging, honey, I'm the best of the best there is. Period. Dot. Now listen, Dorit, you got up your game, ma'am. You got up your game. This lady is housewife royalty. She is extremely petty and she has no problems getting in the dirt with anybody. I think I'm going to like Chanel. One thing I like about Chanel is I loved her relationship with her son. He's 16 years old and they are just adorable together. You can tell that she's his mom, but she's also his best friend. And he told her that, you know what, all of his best friends like her and he's not really happy with it. You know, and she says that she likes being friends with his friends and being able to communicate with them and them being able to talk to her. And I get that. I feel that. I have that same relationship with my son. I love my son. He knows that I'm his mom first, his friend second, but I am always going to be here to listen. And his friends, they know it too. They always talk to me. They tell me things. They love me. I love them. It's almost like I have extra sons. And I love that. I think that's a beautiful relationship. Now, honey, listen, Caroline's husband, uh -uh. I'm not here for this man. Um, I, I don't know. She was saying that she was going to be having a hand party, and I found out that a hand party is a bachelorette party, and he wanted to come. Oh, he was all about it, and I said, you know what? Most men do not want to come to a bachelorette party. They don't want to come to a bridal shower. They don't halfway want to come to a baby shower if it's their own baby. Then here he is wanting to be all up in the lady's face. Now, honey, listen, it's something about him that I don't like. I don't think that their relationship is authentic, and it seems like some of the other housewives don't think so either. I was really surprised that they couldn't get married. I don't know why I was surprised though. 
I mean, other countries have different laws than we do here and they don't see everything the same way as we do. You know, a lot of countries, you know, their minds aren't as open as ours. Just on a side note, if you hear noise in the background, that's my neighbor with their loud as hell lawnmower. They have the loudest lawnmower on the street. It just makes no sense. Anyway, moving on, this is nothing to do about my neighbor and that noisy lawnmower. She says that her and her husband got married because of him. She really didn't need to be remarried. However, he wanted to be married because he didn't want to be her toy boy. And I said, somebody please explain to her that it's boy toy not toy boy but i got what she meant i'm still getting a weird vibe from this dude now, honey when we get over to lisa's house her and her beautiful boys are out in the pool and the next thing you know here comes these delivery people with these huge blocks of ice girls 103 degrees there and she says that it gets up to about 120 and they got to cool the water down i said oh wow this is awesome she paid 1200 dollars to have that ice delivered now, i'm telling you right now if i ever get the chance I'm going to move over to Dubai and start me an ice company. I'm just saying, $1,200 for ice? It was, the kids were excited. They really were. My only concern was the one son was running around the pool. That is a no-no. You know, he was chasing after his daddy, so it seems that the daddy was condoning it. We don't run around the pool. And then on top of that, when they're jumping into the pool, it's real close to the big ice blocks. That's a little dangerous. Maybe they should have put the ice down at the other end of the pool where the kids aren't. It'll get cool that way. I'm just saying, okay, that is not my business. Moving on. We find out that Lisa met her husband in Miami at a restaurant called Live or Live or something like that. Girl, let's get us a trip to Miami. I'm looking for a rich man. Anyway, they have these beautiful children he is in finance. She's got that maternity line that she does. This is just a cute family for me. I'm here for them. Carolyn B, I think the B stands for bossy. She is originally from Boston, but she moved to Dubai when she got married. However, the marriage only lasted seven and a half years and they have an adorable little boy. And she's the one I told you earlier, walked away with just the son. Now, honey, listen, her relationship with her little boy is super cute, too. I actually live in two neighborhoods in Dubai, Jumeirah, where it's only Emiratis, and I actually had to get approved to live in the particular house that we live in. And then our weekend home in Demac Hill. Honey, she's got homes, okay? She is living in the rich area. People, you don't understand it. You don't understand their tax bracket. I'm just saying I don't understand it either, but I'd like to. One thing I did notice, even though these girls are rich, rich, and some of them are shady as hell, they don't come off as pretentious as Diana. Am I being mean to Diana? Do they come off as pretentious as her? It's something about that woman. Then we see Lisa and Chanel meet up for a little lunch. And I was surprised because I thought in Dubai, you had to dress a certain way, you had to act a certain way, but it turns out, I guess not. I guess you can be just as free in the public as you would somewhere else. I tell you what, me from Ohio, if I get a trip to Dubai, I'm wrapping up from head to toe. I'm not risking being locked up abroad. I'm just saying. And I'm going to watch my mouth. There won't be any cursy words coming out of these lips. That's a definitely contract wedding. Sis. I don't know what I think of Caroline and Sergio. It's more like a wannabe made up chemistry. No comment. I heard. Really? Yeah. Now listen, Chanel gives me everything I need in the housewife. The woman is rich. She's obnoxious. She's over the top petty and a bit too much. And I'm pretty sure that at some point I'm going to be annoyed with this woman. But right now I'm here for her. Did anybody think that Chanel looks like Imani? Is that how you say it? The beautiful supermodel who was married to David Bowie. Is is it Amon? Anyway, I know how it's spelled. I-M-A-N. That woman is gorgeous. And I think Chanel looks like her. But she kind of has a Naomi Campbell attitude. I, I'm just saying. Maybe her old attitude. I think now that she's a mom, she's a little softer. 
Now, let me just tell you, this is their first episode, and they already have one housewife calling the gossip about another housewife at lunch while the other housewife is listening. These ladies are absolutely housewife material. You know, Chanel, I have to agree with her. That relationship does look a bit collaborative. You know, she says that it's a collaboration relationship, a contract marriage, that there is no chemistry there. I didn't see much chemistry either. I don't think this is going to be the forever love. I think this is going to be until I can get as much money and fame out of you as I can get. Then I'm going to go on about my business. That's what I think. But we just met these people. You know what? I don't think that Carolyn S. was saying that she didn't want her there because she wasn't important. I think she was saying that she can only have a certain amount of people on that yacht and she only wants people that she really cares about who really care about her on the yacht. And it's clear that Chanel and Carolyn, they do not get along. As a matter of fact, Chanel and Carolyn B. and Carolyn S. do not get along. Honey, the group get together to go on this big yacht and I couldn't stop looking at the city. Oh my gosh, that place is so gorgeous. I was more interested in the scenery than these people on this yacht, but it was lavish living, let me tell you. Sergio, this is the first time I've ever seen a man at a bachelorette. Cheers to that. No, I don't have an issue with me because she hasn't called me in, in over a month. She iced me and for what reason, tell me. I've known Ayan almost two years, I think. Generally, she'll enter a room, the garment comes in first, the feather's already flying in your mouth, and then her wig trails long after her. Generally, the wig is shifted at least three inches back off of her forehead. You know what, that is so true. You don't really have a lot of men at a bachelorette party. When Carolyn talks about Chanel that way, I wouldn't really want to call her either. Why, why would she be calling you? She clearly knows that the friendship is always surface level. You don't like her that much. The hen nights, we think of things like penis straws and strippers and things like that. But living here in Dubai, most of those things are not available or illegal. When it comes to alcohol and drinking in Dubai, it's restricted. You know, you can find alcohol in many restaurants, hotels, resorts. Now you can't find it if you're going to like the convenience store. It is much more controlled. Honey, now listen, you can't get a toy for the sex and you got to search high and low for the liquor. Let me just tell you again, if I go to Dubai, I'm following all rules and regulations. I want to get home and not locked up abroad. We found out that Nina is from Texas and her and Sarah are new friends, but not that new. They've known each other for a little while. Um, listen, these ladies are super cute. I like how they took the kids out to, for the day, but they brought their nannies with them as well. Sarah didn't have a lot of makeup on, and I thought that was great. First episode, and she is already just being herself. I appreciate that. Divorced. I've done it twice. My first marriage, I had my son. Being a single mom in Dubai, it is slowly being accepted because in our culture, divorce is not okay, but... I'm not staying in no marriage if I'm not happy, but a child needs a happy mom. See what I mean? Sarah is a cool chick. I like her. I think she is somebody that I could hang out with on a regular basis. I think that Nina is also. I think that she is the heart of the group. I think she keeps everyone calm and she tries to be the peacemaker in the group. Now, Nina invites these girls over to her building where her new business is. And honey, the view again, the view, the table setting, the lights, you know, she's got her crystals, you know, she's got the crystal up at the moon trying to bless the event. She brought the sage in and everything. She should have brought a priest. You know, she realized throughout the dinner that the sage wasn't helping. Uh-uh, no ma'am, get you some frankincense and myrrh and pass the Anderson. This is what you need for this group. I saw myself in the mirror and I loved myself. I was like, turning I am. So, okay, why are we talking about something I wasn't part of? Can we move on and talk about something I'm part of? Well, but, but, we can all talk about whatever we like, you know, thank you. Of course, you but if I wasn't part of it, I don't want to know about invited. it. Please, nothing's going to cleanse this energy. I can't bear this woman. Oh, you can't bear me and you don't even know anything about me. I don't me. want Do you to think know you. I opinion, if I wasn't there, I don't give a sh don't want to know. Important. I know you're just jealous. That's why you lied. Jealous of what? You? Oh, with your oh, stiff legs looking like a oh, scarecrow? Oh, oh, me. I'm, me. I'm, I'm jealous of you. Look at your face. Look at my face. Shut up. Bitch. Did you say she's not important? 
No. I, I did now. Pick it up now. I'm good everyone. with it. You know what, Chanel? You, you just can't come into a room and tell everybody how beautiful you are. I think that's a little too much. But I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. She's messy and petty, and she obviously loves herself, which is okay. And when the show aired, Chanel and Carolyn B got on the Twitter, and it was just a mess. Chanel says period dot okay because she's letting you know that she is everything period dot okay Carolyn Brooks comes back and tells her to shut up I think she meant to say your wig but it says you wig was stiff and synthetic and mine was a hundred percent not properly installed my edges are fine and the wig is plucked I think she might want to proofread this first because I think she meant to say that hers was 100% installed properly. I don't know. But Chanel comes back and she says, Brooks, first of all, this wig was real human hair from China. So give respect to this wig. Some days I wear a $5 wig, but my face still looks like a goddess. Go away and stop being jealous. These women are too much. I'm just saying, you know, Chanel is a breakout star and Carolyn B is unapologetically herself. She is a pop star for sure. And Carolyn S, I am with it. She is with the petty, okay? She says what she means and I appreciate that. When Carolyn B said, jealous of what? You with that stiff wig looking like a scarecrow, I had to rewind because I hollered. I said, oh, that was rude. And right to this woman's face, I, I enjoyed it. You know, Nina and Sarah, on the other hand, they didn't. Nope, they didn't. I understand that her feelings was hurt that she didn't get invited to this party. But after this behavior, that's why you didn't get invited. You know, and maybe it was a little rude to talk about the party that she wasn't invited to. But at the same time, never let them see you sweat. Why are you going to let them know that you are pissed off that you weren't invited to this party? Why? Just let it go and move forward. You should have brushed that off as if the party never happened. You don't give a damn. That's where I think Chanel lost a few points. Because girl, why do you care? You don't even like Carolyn S. So why did you need to be at her party drinking her champagne on the yacht? Girl, go on. Anyway, peeps, get down in the comments and let me know what you think. Did you enjoy The Real Housewives of Dubai? Are you excited about the upcoming season? Um, what do you think about these ladies? Who was your favorite? Get down in the comments and let me know. And until next time, bye.